some mini twist which I'm just kind of giving you this little preview of but yes um, I decided to finally put my hair back in a protected style um, I took out my faux locks I had that in I would say for about six weeks and then I finally took that out and when I took that out I let my regular hair down for about a week and then I finally decided to put it back in a protective style so I just wouldn't mess with it and then uh, another reason is I'm trying to keep my hair more in a protective style to try to retain lip so hopefully it works but as overall for the style it took me I would say about eight hours to do um yeah I know that's probably a long time um I probably would have done this in a shorter amount of time but I did take a lot of breaks either with me doing something with the kids or taking you know going to go eat or just something it was always something with me so I always had to get up and do something so that's why it kind of took me longer than expected um if I would just sit down straight and did it, it would took me a short amount of time. And then also I made them, if you can see, I made them kind of small. So that's another reason why it took me a while. If I would have made them bigger, I, I know for sure it wouldn't take me eight hours. So just kind of giving you that little heads up. But overall, I do like it. Um, as I say, I hope, plan to keep it in for six weeks if it's not too frizzy. But we'll see. Now to the gel, I used the Eco Style of Professional Styling Gel in the Coconut Edition, which looks like this. And let me show you the inside of it. And the gel, um, I'm trying to see if I smell coconut. I really don't. I don't really smell too much like coconut to me. It does have a scent to it, but I don't know. But overall, I do like this gel. Um, I basically used it on my mini twist just to see if it could hold up. Because I know in the past I used other gels with um, my twist just to see how good it would hold. And then sometimes like that very next day it will start to unravel or wouldn't last as long. One thing I can say with this, I haven't experienced anything, any of my twists unraveling. So that's a good thing. And also, I haven't had any type of flaking or my scalp is not itching. So, that's another plus. And I can zoom it in so you can see. Okay, so I zoomed it in so you can kind of look more into my scalp. But you can see, yeah, there's no flaking. And my twist right now is still holding up. So, that is one thing I do like about the gel. So, with this gel, I actually got this at my local beauty supply um shop that's kind of close to my house and they didn't have the big sizes this is the only size they had this is the eight ounce bottle and i think i paid it was either $1.99 or $2.99 so it was expensive but they didn't have the big sizes of this and they also have another one with the castor oil but i can't find that anywhere around here i'm still looking for that one to test that one out but um Overall, I do like this. Um, I always was a fan of this type of gel anyway because I know I tried the Argan and also the olive oil. And I love those as well. And this one here I like too. I can't tell you if it works for like wash and goes because I don't do wash and goes for my hair. Um, as for twist, it works fine. And that's when I use this for my kids' hair, it worked fine. Um, when I put it on their hair, it didn't have any type of flaking or... You know anything like that one thing i say with this gel and also the other ones too is that you have to watch when you mix this with um other products with my hair that's how i washed it conditioning and then for my moisturizer i used the shade moisture curl enhancing smoothie but um i put that in i wait till my hair was completely completely dry before i used the gel because i know it's like when you mix this with other type of moisturizer and i know that one in particular it kind of leaves like this um it doesn't mix well, so it kind of makes like these balls that, you know, when you try to put in your hair, it doesn't look good on your hair. So, yeah, this here, I would say the same thing. Just be careful when using this for other products. But um, using this on dry hair, I had no problems. Overall, I do like the gel. I like the gel for my hair type. Um, it kept my twist intact. Now, I know I'm just unraveling. Um, hopefully, in a few weeks, I won't be saying anything different, but... Overall, I do like it. Just I didn't experience any flaking, no itching. 
um it went on my hair smoothly and i put it on dry hair because um that's what i had my hair stretched but even with that i didn't have any problems so i definitely recommend the gel again guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and also just stay tuned for my hair tutorial and i'll see you in the next video Yeah, 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 yeah.